Hi, IBM TV viewers. From myself, Grant Edmund, at Gretel and Roll Studios in Johannesburg, South Africa. Hope is that everybody's had a great week in the park. You can enjoy the show today, tonight, in the morning, wherever you are in the world. And uh, thank you so much for all the requests that are coming through on our email. So please, if you've got requests, comments, send it to us. Uh, you'll see it on our banner. Uh, it's info at rattleandroll.co.za and you'll see it on the, our little poster that comes up every now and again in the show. And uh, so we've got a diverse bag for you tonight. Uh, some of come in, songs I've never played. We're going to give those the best. I hope you're going to enjoy it, have a bit of a laugh with it. And uh, before we carry on, uh, Anne Kitt, who is one of the senior board members at RBM TV, it's his birthday this week. So Anne Kitt, I hope you're going to have a great birth month over here in South Africa, or certain of us, we don't celebrate a birthday in one day. We have a whole birth month, and I really hope that you have a great week, great month, great year. Uh, so Anne Kitt, just for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you happy birthday dear and kids from all at rattle and roll studios in johannesburg happy birthday to you have a good one mate here's a request that came through and i thought of myself wow i haven't played this song for many many years so we're going to give this one a bash and by the way guys i don't rehearse this it's just uh get the songs and uh quickly have a quick scroll through the you know the songs i haven't done for a long time this one i definitely haven't done for a long time it was written in 1940 and recorded in 1940 by a chap called Huddy Ledbetter. and uh the song has just sort of grew through the years and uh it's been a huge hit for Dusty Springfield. The Beach Boys had a hit with it. Uh, but most prominent, I think, uh, uh, Harry Miller had a very, very, very big hit with it in 1958. Uh, but I think one of the most, uh, most played versions of the song is uh, obviously the Credence Clearwater Revival uh, version, which they recorded on their 1970 album called Willie and the Poor Boys. So we're going to attempt to do that one. And uh, here we go. This one's for Lynn all the way in uh, Alabama, USA. She sent an email through to us and said, could you do this song? So we're going to give this one a bash. Hope you guys enjoy. This is Cotton Fields. <laughs> I was a 
written by a chap called David Gates who had a band called Bread, a really great American band. And uh, the song was written in 1972. Uh, it was on their, the Bread album, Baby I'm a Want You, a really great song, and uh, was covered in 1987, a sort of reggae type of uh, version by none other than Boy George. And this was Boy George's only number one hit he had some hits but never went to number one on the billboard charts and the uk charts but this song was the number one hit for him all over the world in 1987 so i hope you guys enjoy this one here we go <laughs> Yeah. 
Welcome back. Right, I thought I'd uh, take out my old trusty Fender New Porter guitar. Uh, this guitar's got such a great history with me. Um, when I finished my military service in the mid 80s, uh, after coming back uh, from the war, I uh, had a little bit of money in uh, the bank and uh, always, you know, wanted to become a professional musician. And I always wanted a Fender and I bought this uh, two days after I finished with the military, had a little bit of money in my pocket and uh, went up to a music store in Johannesburg and I bought this uh, beautiful baby for 680 Rand, including the case. I actually found the slip, the tall slip the other day. And uh, this guitar has been with me since 1984. Uh, so in today's money, uh, was about thirty-seven dollars that I paid for it, but it's been all around the world with me. It's got a lot of battle scars, scratches, and stuff, but it's really, really a great guitar. And uh, so I thought I was going to do I'm going to do this song uh, because this is one of those songs. It's an anthem. It's an anthem to football clubs uh, all over the world, um, basket. Uh, clubs, baseball teams, and uh, obviously it was written by one of the most brilliant songwriters and artists, Neil Diamond. Uh, Neil Diamond was born in 1941 uh, in Brooklyn in New York, and as I mentioned in shows before, started off as a staff writer and uh, battling his way through and has, up until today, has sold over 100 million albums, which is puts him in the top five selling musicians of all time. So whenever we do the song, wherever it is, if it's in a pub or in a club or at a party or a wedding or wherever it is that I perform, this is one of those songs that always gets requested. So before anybody sends a message in to request it, we're going to do this one. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is Sweet Caroline. <laughs> Where is the gap? I can begin to know it, but I know it's growing strong. Was in the spring, that's when it became the summer. We believed you'd come along. Without giving back to 
is a brilliant, brilliant songwriter called Bob McDowell, who hails from Texas. And Bob has written so many numerous hit songs for so many artists, mainly in the country genre. And um, I thought I'd do this one tonight. It, uh, it was a really big song for Don Williams uh, in the late 70s, early 80s. And he penned a lot of good Don Williams songs. Um, we're going to do this one tonight because Gavin's going to do uh, an Alan Jackson song. And uh, so we're going to do the Alan Jackson version of the song that was written for Don Williams by Mr. Bob McDowell. And uh, so after this one, we look forward to having a chat to Gavin. And uh, our lockdown in South Africa is sort of eased down a little bit. So I think from next week, uh, Gavin will be joining me in the studio and uh, doing some of the stuff here. Also, Gavin's uh, new album is coming out quite soon. Uh, we've been working really hard on that during this lockdown. Uh, him and his little studio and then myself over here. So we can't wait to have Gavin's stuff on the show very very soon it's just written some amazing amazing songs and uh can't wait for it to be out but anyway yes yeah. so this is the alan jackson version of a big hit for don williams this was a big hit for alan jackson as well but as i say it's uh it's a bob mcdoll song here we go Oh, I feel it, it must be love. 
RBN viewers, it's that wonderful time again where we've got Mr. Gavin Hayes coming on the show and uh, so many great comments and requests uh, to have Gavin. Gavin is part of the show, is part of Rattle and Roll Studios, part of the furniture here. So he's going to be on with us as much as he can. So take it away, Gavin. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, once again, welcome to another episode of Rattle and Roll Through the Ages. Those of you that don't know me, my name is Gavin Hayes. And I'm an engineer and entertainer alongside Grant right here at Rat and Roll Studios in Johannesburg. Grant has asked me to do a couple of songs for you guys. And without any further ado, uh, the first track I'm going to do is a song by a country singer called Alan Jackson. The name is Little Bitty. And for those of you that are country fans just like me, you are not a country fan unless you enjoy Alan Jackson's music. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, here is Little Bitty by Alan Jackson. Have a little love on a little honey You got a little dish and you got a little spoon. Little bitty house and a little bitty yard. Little bitty dog and a little bitty car. Well, it's all right to be a little bitty. Little hometown or a big old city. You might as well share, you might as well smile. Life goes on for a little bit of a Little bit of baby and a little bit of gal. It'll grow up in a little bit of town. Big yellow bus and little bit of bus. It all started with a little bitty look. Well, it's all right to be a little bitty. A little hometown or a big old city. You might as well share, you might as well smile. Life goes on for a little bitty while. Oh, you got a job and a little bitty check, six pack of beer and a television set. A little bitty world goes around and around, a little bit of silence and a little bitty sound. Good old boy and a pretty little girl, start all over in a little bitty world. A little bitty plan and a little bitty dream. It's all part of a little bitty scheme. Well, it's all right to be a little bitty, a little hometown or a big old city. You might as well share, you might as well smile. Life goes on for a little bitty while. It's all right to be a little bitty, a little hometown or a big old city. You might as well share, you might as well smile. Life goes on for a little bitty while. I've always wanted to do that. That was Ellen Jackson's version of Great song that, Gavin. What a love, lovely, wonderful version you did there. Uh, Alan Jackson, what can we say? Uh, the man hails from Georgia, born in 1958. And just an incredible career that the man has had. Uh, just a wonderful showman, great on stage, and just recorded so many great songs. And uh, he's... Uh, been rated as one of the biggest selling artists in the world ever, having sold over 75 million albums. So, uh, great. Really, really nice that you did that song, Gav. The next song Gav's going to do is a classic Garth Brooks song called If Tomorrow Never Comes. And it was uh, written by Garth Brooks himself, the man himself, with a co-writer called Kent Blasey. And it was released in 1989. And just... Uh, wonderful great song and uh ronan keating uh, did a version of it in 2002 went to the top of the charts but this particular song that garth recorded and wrote um was his has been his best selling single of all time so that just goes to show you uh and he's had so many huge sellers so gav take it away 
with If Tomorrow Never Comes. Sometimes late at night, I lie awake and I watch you sleep. She's lost in peaceful dreams, so I turn out the light, lay there in the dark. And a thought crosses my mind, if I never wake in the morning. Would she ever doubt the way I feel about her? in my heart If tomorrow never comes Would you know how much I love her Did I try in every way to show her every day that she's my only one If my time on earth was through And she must face this world without me Is the love I gave her in the past Gonna be enough to last If tomorrow never comes Cause I've loved loved ones in my life who never knew how much I loved her. Now I live with the regrets and my true feelings for her never were revealed. So I made a promise to myself to say each day how much he means to me. And avoid that circumstance where there's no second chance to tell her how I feel. If tomorrow never comes, would she know how much I love her? Did I try in every way to show her every day? She's my only one If my time on earth was through And she must face this world without me Is the love I gave her in the past Gonna be enough to last If tomorrow never comes Tell that someone that you love Just what you're thinking of If tomorrow never comes Garth Brooks' version of If Tomorrow Never Comes Brilliant version there, Gav. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for that. So tell us about the next song. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final song I'm going to do for you guys is actually a request that came through uh, from a young lady called Sharon. Uh, Sharon asked if I could possibly do Shotgun by George Ezra. And Sharon, of course I can, and <laughs> this song is especially for you. Enjoy Shotgun by George Ezra. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. A sudden change in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I can get used to this. As time flies by in the yellow and green, stick around and you see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. I'll be riding shock 
begun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. South of the equator, navigator, gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Deep sea diving around the clock, bikini bottoms, larger tops. I can get used to this. And time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. We'll be two in the front, two in the back, singing along, and we won't look back. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. Brilliant, man. I just love that song. It's just got such a nice vibe to it. Thanks for being on the show. And uh, obviously, we'll see you soon in the next one. Now, with lockdown easing, can't wait for us to be back here together working on our stuff. And uh, yeah, so before you go, uh, anything else to say to the RBN TV viewers? Yes, uh, thank you, Grant. Um, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for tuning in. I hope you had as much fun as I had on this week's edition of Rattle and Roll Through the Ages. Um, we will see you guys next week, but until then, please keep those requests coming through. Um, please send them to info at rattleandroll.co.za. And if you like, please follow us on our social media handles right over here. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, until then, from Rattle and Roll Studios, I wish you guys a fantastic week. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gavin Hayes, thank you so much once again, Gav. And like I say, uh, in the next episode or two, we're going to feature Gavin's new single that's coming out. Can't wait for you guys to hear it. I'm so excited about it. And uh, we'll see Gavin again on the show next week. This song was written in 1961 by a chap called uh, Bobby Shaw, and in 1961 it was a big hit for the incredible Ray Charles. Uh, the song has since been recorded by Trini Lopez, but in 1992 it was a huge hit worldwide for Joe Cocker. So uh, I'll try and do it. And uh, so here we go. Hope you guys enjoy. Unchain my heart Baby, let me be Cause you don't care Help me Set me free Unchain my heart 
another great work from the pen of the one and only John Fogarty. A song that was written in 1969 was a huge hit for them in 1970 for Creedence Clearwater Revival and it's called Who'll Stop the Rain and uh, just really love the song. One of those songs uh, whenever you play it people sing along and they know it. It was a, a very mild protest song uh, about the Vietnam War and uh, so John wrote the song after he had uh, been playing at Woodstock in 1969 
And uh, as it started raining, people started taking their clothes off. And Woodstock is uh, probably billed as probably the best live rock concert of all time. So here, here we go. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Music always has a, a way of revoking memories in people, be they sad, be they happy, bring back a time uh, that just sticks out in your mind. And uh, this next song is one of those at all. It just evokes memories of uh, people that I've met along the way of my life and my music career and uh, times at school and going around the world and you always sort of this oh, i heard that song man i remember last time i heard that song i was uh, doing this or i was doing that or i met that person or i was with this person so this is one of those fantastic songs that evoked a lot of memories for me and uh one of them being out uh, the album came out in 1980 it was a song by billy joel called you may be right and it was off an album called glass houses which was a landmark album for billy joel in 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 my my mind there were some great songs on there and uh this is a very special song tonight it's dedicated to uh a late friend of ours janet trunderit and uh janet would come to my gigs and she was just the most colorful wonderful loving person and uh Whenever she came to the gigs, I just knew I had to do a Billy Joel song off the album Glass Houses because that was her favourite. So we're going to do this uh, in memory of the beautiful Janet van der Rett. So here's Billy Joel. <laughs> i 
We back. That was a wonderful uh, musical as uh, Rat and Roll with Grant Admin from South Africa, and some amazing songs. And thank you, uh, Grant, for the lovely wishes. Thank you. Pleasure, man. Happy birthday, my friend. I hope you thank have 